Um, I got a package delivered to my house. It was addressed to Stacy Wu. I don't know Stacy Wu. Never heard of her, never met her. But the address was my address. So I figure, okay, it's a mistake. I'll toss it to the side. I'll deal with it later. Weekend comes. I take a weed out of bowl. Later that night, I'm chilling. I'm like, all right, let me open up this package. See if there's a contact info for this Stacy. See if I can let her know that I have her stuff. So I open up the package. Sure enough, her address is in there, her email address. And it is a pair of pants, women's size six sateen dress pants, black from Ann Taylor Loft. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get Stacy her pants back. So I open up my email and I uh, type her email address in. I write right in the subject, I have your pants. <laughs> and I'm about to tell her, you know, just drop me a line, I'll give them, get them to you, you know? But then I thought, wouldn't it be great if I wrote her a ransom note for them? <laughs> it's a weed edible. That's what happens. So I get out my entertainment weeklies and I just start chopping away. Five hours. For five hours, I cut letters out of years worth of entertainment weekly magazines. It was a f work of art. And I taped it to the pages and I scanned it into the email. And I'm about to hit send. And I'm like, ah, this is not how ransom notes work. I have to send her a picture of the pants, prove I got them shits. <laughs> and then I thought, ah, oh, wouldn't it be great if I was in them? Of course it would, that's why I'm here tonight. <laughs> so I get myself in these pants. It took minutes. That's a long time to get into pants. But I got this body into those size six sateens. And I take some pictures of myself and I realize I'm bare chested. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of weird. I don't want her to get the wrong idea about this ransom note. I want this ransom note to be on the up and up. So I put on a shirt, a tie, a jacket, shoes. I really class this ransom note up. I really do. And I'm about to take a picture of myself in them and I said, oh, this is not how this works. She can't see my face. So I said, wouldn't it be great if I was in a ski mask? <laughs> so I put on a ski mask, I take a bunch of pictures of myself, I upload this all into the email, I hit send, and I am so proud of myself <laughs> because this is what life is. This is it. So I just go to bed, I dream great dreams. <laughs> and I wake up in the morning, it's like Christmas morning to me. I run straight to my laptop and I open it up to see if Stacy Wu has received my correspondence. <laughs> and she did. And I'm going to read you now what she wrote back to me. <laughs> this is really creepy. <laughs> I'm filing a complaint with UPS. I'll have the authorities track you down <laughs> to where the pants were delivered and charge you with robbery and Possible terrorism. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she goes on. They look for people like you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. This truly isn't funny. And if you're looking for peanut butter, I don't have any. I'll get to that in a second. I'm in over my head. I should have said, this is a joke. <laughs> Take your pants. But instead I said, do you think I'm playing games? <laughs> yeah, the terrorist in me ain't gonna stand for that shit. It's my first time terrorizing anyone. I'm going balls to the wall, okay? And I just sent her a bunch more photos, okay? So then I step away from the laptop. It was the first thing I did that day. I did nothing else. So I went to my phone for the first time and I opened it up and I had a text from the night before. And the text is from my landlord, Stanley, who lives right below me. And this is what his text said. He said, hey buddy, was there a package delivered last Monday and left on your porch? It's for my girlfriend, Stacy." <laughs> I felt the same way. 
felt the same exact way. I'm like, oh, there's no way he's finding out about this. I don't care what I have to do. I'm getting rid of the pants. I'll take the fucking pants down to a ravine and fucking shoot them. Rather you get rid of stuff. I'm gonna do it. And then I realized, oh man, I sent her the note from my email address. It's got my first, last, and two middle names in the title. So I have to confess, I have to come clean. So I call him on the phone, I'm like, Stan, it's Sal. As a matter of fact, I do have the pants. And if you wanna meet me on the side of the house, I'll give them to you. Uh, also, I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. So he meets me on the side of the house. He's like, oh, Sal, thanks so much. I'm like, Stan, no problem. I even emailed the let know I had him. He's like, you're the best. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> Just hold on. Just let me finish. I said, Stan, somewhere in there, I felt it apropos <laughs> to also write her a ransom note for them. <laughs> He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, it's exactly what you think. <laughs> and I knew... <laughs> I knew he was gonna ask me, well, what did it say? And so I brought the ransom note to the side of the house to read to him right there in the driveway. And I also brought it tonight. <laughs> this is it, this is living. It says, hello, I have your pants. You guys? I'll do it every five days. Hello, I have your pants. Check the picture for proof. We could agree that the, end, the ransom note should have ended there. Allow me to read you the next 18 pages. In order to get them back safely, I am going to need one 15 ounce jar of Skippy all natural honey peanut butter smooth. This is the weed edible talking. I'm allergic to peanut butter. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Peanut butter? Yeah. Peanut butter. So what? This is about me right now. <laughs> this really isn't the time for you to be judging me about the peanut butter. I have your pants. <laughs> To be honest, I felt silly asking for the peanut butter, but I gathered myself and here we are. <laughs> peanut butter is delicious and I'm out of it. I'm now explaining myself to her for no good reason. I could have asked for a lot worse than peanut butter. So let's just move on. Put the peanut butter in an unmarked duffel. I don't even know what an unmarked duffel is. I what is, a, what is a marked duffel? What is a marked, I don't know, but don't send that shit to me in a fucking marked duffel. Deliver to my home no later than noon on Friday, every day that I do not receive the peanut butter. I will wear your pants with a different cute top. <laughs> Your move, PB forever. <laughs> That's nice of you. That's how I felt. I was elated. Uh, I said to him, I also, uh, I also sent her a photo to prove I had him. And he was like, <laughs> let me see it. And I showed him on my phone, but for you guys, I went to Kinko's. Okay. I call that terrorist casual. Yeah, I got your pants, but really it's no biggie. It's just what I do. It was my first terrorizing. I kept it light. He said, what did she say? I said, she said she was going to call the authorities and charge me with robbery. 
and terrorism. He said, holy shit, what did you say? And I said, I said, oh, I just said, do you think I'm playing games? And then I just fired off a bunch more photos to her. Look, this one, this one cuts deep. This one's like, I'm straight relaxing while I'm terrorizing you. I'm literally wearing the pants in this situation. But uh, he graciously said, look, I will tell her. I will tell her I'll try and, and hash it out for you. And then uh, a year and a half later, I'm walking out of my home down my driveway and a female's walking up it and we meet in the middle. And she says to me, are you the guy? <laughs> that had my pants. This is a moment of truth for me. So I dug very deep. I looked her in the eye and I said, I never got the peanut butter. <laughs> That's the story of the first and last time I ever saw Stacy Wu. Thank you guys. Wow.